Comets and other heavenly bodies Meteoroids A meteoroid is any small solid body in orbit around the Sun. Smaller than asteroids, meteoroids are space debris that are usually composed of rock and or metals such as iron. Most meteoroids are smaller than a pebble. Scientists believe that most of the large meteoroids originate from the asteroid belt. A meteoroid is referred to as a meteor once it enters Earth's atmosphere. Meteors can reach very high velocities as they accelerate towards the center of Earth. Traveling through Earth's atmosphere at high velocities result in frictional heating between the meteoroid's body and the particles that make up Earth's atmosphere. The tremendous heat produced by this friction causes the surface of the meteor to melt and vaporize. It also heats up the air surrounding the meteor. The molten meteor is so hot that it glows, resulting in the luminous phenomenon associated with the meteors falling in the sky. Most of the meteoroids that enter Earth's atmosphere burn up in the upper layers of the atmosphere and never reach Earth's surface. Sometimes a meteor survives its fiery plunge through the atmosphere and lands on Earth. Whatever is left of it then becomes known as a meteorite. Thus, a meteorite is just a meteor that reaches Earth's surface. Large meteorites can create a hole on the ground upon impact. A hole made by a meteorite on Earth's surface is called a crater. Comets A comet is a small heavenly body that orbits the sun and is made of ice, gas, and dust. As a comet approaches the sun, it heats up and releases gases and dust that subsequently forms a brightly shining atmosphere. This visible envelope of the comet is called its coma. On the other hand, the solid and icy central part of a comet is called its nucleus. The nucleus of a comet can have a diameter that ranges from a few hundred meters to tens of kilometers. The sun's solar wind blows the gas and dust particles around a comet away from the sun, causing them to form the visible tail of the comet which always points away from the sun. A comet's tail can be quite enormous, with some comets displaying tails that extend for hundreds of millions of kilometers. As a comet goes farther away from the sun, it gradually loses its tail and bright atmosphere. Comets that are far from the sun are nothing more than extremely dark and icy objects. Comets also vary greatly in their orbital periods. Some comets complete their orbit around the sun in just several years, while others need millions of years to do so. Comets with long orbital periods are those that come from far away. Some comets come from what is called the Kuiper Belt, which is a disk-shaped region of icy objects located beyond Neptune's orbit. Comets from the Kuiper Belt orbit the Sun in less than 200 years. Most comets, according to NASA, come from the Oort Cloud, a region that is at the extreme outer edge of our solar system. Comets from this region take millions of years just to circle the Sun once. Asteroids an asteroid is a rocky object that orbits the Sun. It is smaller than a planet but larger than a meteoroid. Unlike a comet, it does not form a visible coma and tail. The paths of orbit of asteroids are usually between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This region between Mars and Jupiter where most asteroids are found is called the asteroid belt. Asteroids are also referred to as minor planets, especially those found in the inner parts of our solar system. The larger asteroids have also been called planetoids. Dwarf planets. A dwarf planet is a heavenly body orbiting the Sun that is spherical in shape like a planet, but is not large enough to have a gravity that can clear its orbital path of other objects. It must also not be a satellite of a planet. As of 2008, there are five recognized dwarf planets, Pluto, Ceres, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. Pluto, Haumea, and Makemake are located in the Kuiper Belt. Pluto, which used to be considered as a planet until 2006, is now classified as a dwarf planet. Pluto takes 248 years to revolve around the Sun and has several moons of its own. Its largest moon is called Charon. Ceres, the first dwarf planet to be discovered in 1801, is located in the asteroid belt. It is therefore the biggest heavenly body in that region, and is the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system. Ceres was initially classified as a planet, then reclassified as an asteroid, before it was finally classified as a dwarf planet in 2006. Eris is the farthest dwarf planet from the Sun, but it is also the largest and most massive. Its only known natural satellite is called Dysnomia. Subscribe to K Plus Now. Contact us at 02-7759-4144 and 0917812757. Thank you for watching.